Hey, shalom everybody. This is student of YHWH. Just back at it with another quick video. And I'm just doing a quick video on the apple cider vinegar rinse for dreadlocks. Again, it's called the apple cider vinegar rinse for dreadlocks. Uh, I'm not sure if you can use this certain rinse on other um, hair um, or other styles of hair. But I know you can use it for dreadlocks. I did it twice before and it's great pretty much what you need you need is of course apple cider vinegar um, I get the organic kind by Bragg this is the organic kind apple cider vinegar you can get it from uh, you know Walmart um, uh, family dollars you know just a local grocery store and apple cider vinegar is actually good for other things as well um, it's good for if you're sick, if you got like a sore throat, um, if you got like a headache, um, even when you wake up, you know, if you don't really like to use mouthwash, you can use apple cider vinegar um, the night before, um, you know, right before you go to sleep. So apple cider vinegar is really good for you. Um, you should definitely look that up. So you'll need apple cider vinegar for this rinse, and you'll need some pure baking soda. That's right, pure baking soda. And baking soda is actually good as well. You can clean dishes. Um, you know, you can do a lot of other different things with baking soda. Um, it cleans a lot of stuff. So definitely look into um, baking soda as well. Um, so, and the only other thing you need is water. So what, what you would do is, I'm going to show how we do it. You just need apple cider vinegar, three fourths of apple cider vinegar, and one fourth cup of baking soda. So three fourth cup of apple cider vinegar and one fourth cup of baking soda, and just fill your sink up with water. Okay. I know there is a certain measurement for water, but I normally just fill the sink up with water. Then once you put your hair in, your you know your dreads in, and you know you wash them really good um, in the sink. And again, I'm gonna show y'all how we do that in a few. After you do that, you wanna right away and straight away you wanna wash your hair again. You wanna wash it with your uh, your favorite um, lock shampoo, dry lock shampoo. Because with dreadlocks, you can't use any type of shampoo. Some people do use any type of shampoo, but I don't. Everybody's different. I don't, and even if you research on shampoos, they tell you don't use any shampoo. You know, the best shampoo to use is shampoo for dreadlocks. So after you do this, there's a rinse, right? You, uh, the whole sink is going to be full of dirt. It's going to be full of dirt. And this cleanse or this rinse, it washes your hair really, 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 really good. And the whole sink is going to be full of dirt. It's going to be all brown. No clear water. It's going to be brown water. So, again, after you do this rinse and you rinse your hair, you know, really good under, under that water, um, you want to wash your hair again with your favorite shampoo. Then after you do that, you want to use some good, some type of good oil. Um, I got this cast, this black castor, castor oil right here. You want to use a real good oil because this rinse is going to dry out your hair. It's going to dry out your hair um, a lot. So you definitely want to um, wash your hair after the rinse and use, um, you know, some good oil. Um, you know, to moisturize your hair. So, I'll be back. 